Oh, everybody, it brings me, I am overjoyed to be making this video right now. One of my favorite 3DS games of all time, Pocket Card Jockey, um, is now on the Nintendo Switch. Now, granted, this is Pocket Card Jockey Ride On, which is a pseudo kind of sequel to Pocket Card Jockey, but not, it's like a, somewhere between a port and a sequel, um, and, uh, the Nintendo Switch version shadow dropped during the Partner Showcase today, and I couldn't purchase it quickly enough. Um, very pleased with this. This came out on Apple Arcade last year. Uh, did an episode of Keep Nintendo Weird Pocket Edition with my good friend CJ Andreessen talking about this version of the game. And now it's on Switch. Kind of curious what's in the options here. Um, and I could not be happier. I'm... Okay. All right, pretty standard stuff. Um, we're just going to do a quick little video showcasing the Switch version of the game and see what the deal is. See how it controls the Pro Controller. That's what I'm going to be most curious about. I'm playing with the Pro Controller. It did say when I booted up the game, you you can play this with uh, Joy-Con like motion controls and the touchscreen. So, let's see. We're going to play pick blue style. So far, it's, like, very cursor-based. Choose my clothing here. This is, I think, what I wore in the... Oh, yeah, we went with that. Name the main character. 1 to 10. Well, let me do $2 hero. Let's see. Should have enough space for it. Um... Yeah, this, this game is great. This is a... Ah, just enough space. Um, solitaire with, like, a horse-raising RPG, sort of. We have to do the, the intro first, of course, where we die. Uh, spoilers. This is $2 Hero. As you could maybe tell by the clothes, they are a jockey. They're not very good at it, but boy, do they have heart. And big dreams, too. Oh, look, here comes a trainer. A trainer is someone who raises horses lent to them by owners so they can win races. Excuse me, sir, I'd really like to enter the derby. Please let me ride an amazing horse. Ha ha ha. Oh, you kidder, you. If I actually had a horse like that, my life would be so much easier. Mr. Mikawa. Welp, I'll see you around. No, hey, wait, come on. You gotta have something I can ride. Just give me one that runs straight. Hmm, in that case, what say you jump on for a bit of training? Training? That's it? That's right, you won't have a chance of getting into the derby if you can't even train, you know. Okay then, I'll show you some of the best dang training you've ever seen. Then it's off to the derby. Yes, yes, whatever you say. Off you go then, get training. So we're going to showcase kind of like the core of the game. We are not going to have enough time to get into like all of the meat of Pocket Card Jockey, but... We'll at least show you guys what's up. <laughs> this game, if you didn't know, made by Game Freak. Yeah, trampled to death. Uh, the makers of Pokemon. And for my money, it's the best game Game Freak's ever made. Uh, buh, uh. Hey, hey you, get up. Uh, gibble gobble. Kaboom! Oh, hello again. Wait, hang on. Where are we? Why is it so dark? Because you're gonna die soon. You're not making much sense. Were you kicked in the head by a horse or something? Oh, wait, that's right. Sir, that horse is the worst. It doesn't do anything I tell it to. You're kicked by that horse, and now you are dying. Oh, wait, are you serious right now? Very. No, I don't want to die! I want to go win the derby! You can't even train properly and you're talking about the derby? Sir, look. Would you stop calling me that? I'm no sir, I'm an angel. Gosh, the things you say are almost as weird as that mysterious ring over your head. Well, whatever. So, sir, or uh, Mr. Angel, I just want to mention that whatever good you represent, I totally believed in them while I was alive, and... Shall I bring you back to life? Uh, can you do that? 
I'm an angel. I can do pretty much whatever I want. Also, I'm in a good mood since I won big at the track. Oh, phew. You seriously should have said that part a lot sooner. I have one condition, though. If I bring you back to life, you must make your dream come true. Sure, great deal. I love this deal. And if you fail, I'm sending you straight to heck when you die. Sound good? Uh, sorry, wait, hang on. Did you just say I'll go to heck? Like with a capital H? Yep. Oh, and it's pretty gnarly down there, just so you know. Fire, brimstone, eternal dang nation, faucets leak, stuff smells weird. Honestly, it's the pits. Okay, so my dream is to one day play catch with my son who loves me and would never be mean to me. Uh, but I need to find a son first. Any idea where I can get one? I thought your dream was to win the derby. No, that's more like my fantasy. I mean, it's just not realistic considering how bad I am with horses. Better improve fast then because if you don't win the derby while you're alive, heck. What? Seriously? Riding horses is really hard for real. Have you even tried it? Ugh, you're hopeless. Do you have anything that you like? I like omelets. That's not what I meant. I'm asking if you have interests or hobbies or anything you're even remotely good at. Well, lately I've been playing so much Solitaire on my Switch that my fingers are going numb. What Solitaire game have you been playing on your Switch, dude? Show me the Solitaire game you've been playing on your Switch. If you've got that much free time, why don't you practice riding horses? I do that too, honest. Likely story. Well, never mind. I've got an idea. I'm going to make you ride a horse as well as you play solitaire. What do you mean? I'm saying I'll make it so that as long as you play solitaire well, your horse will run properly. Yeah, no, I really don't understand what you're trying to say. You'll find out in good time. Now let's bring you back to life. Huh? What? Off you go, toodles! Earth to Two Dollar Hero, are you alright? Oh, hi Mr. Angel, thanks for bringing you back to life and all that. Uh oh, poor kid's done for. No, no, I'm fine. Are you sure? Think you can still train? I'll give it a shot. Okay. This is what I really want to show off as kind of like the core of the game. Howdy, friend. My name's Horse Off Course, and I'm here to show you the ropes. <laughs> I've missed you so much! I love that option. <laughs> Whoa there, you've played before? Gee, thanks for coming back. While the basic rules haven't changed at all, some of the finer details have been tweaked. So I'll cover what's different. Let's start with the rules of solitaire. What you want to do is clear away as much of this tableau as possible. And of course, clearing the whole thing is ideal. You'll start by choosing a card from the bottom row. After that, just grab any card that's one number higher or lower than your first card. To grab a card, select with your cursor, then hit a button. A, B, whatever. Let's go ahead and try it out for ourselves. Now then, what should we... Oh, I know! Why don't you try taking that 8? Just trust ol' off course here, friend. Okay, we can take the 7 next. 6, 5... You got the hang of it, all right. Keep going as get as many cards as you can. Since you just grabbed a five, you can go for either that four or six next. I'll go ahead and hand you the reins now. Take it away, friend. Four, five, six. Once there are no playable cards left on the tableau, the stockpile will appear. Tilting the right stick will cause new cards to appear in the stockpile. Give it a shot. Okay. Whoa, you got a king. Talk about a nice draw. In this kind of solitaire, king and ace cards can be taken consecutively. That means you can take cards from your tableau again. You're on fire. Keep it up and grab as many cards from your tableau as possible. Once you're out of playable cards, or just like run out of cards you want to take, draw a new card from your stock. Well, I'll leave you to it. Enjoy. All right, so three, eight, uh, nine, ten. Hmm. Go with that. We 
We did it. Hey now, very nice work. Clearing as much of the tableau as possible is always the key to victory. I'm sure we'd be great at it. Catch you later, racer. That's enough training for today. How you feeling? You alright? Matter of fact, I think I was better than usual today. Really? Huh. To be honest, I feel really bad about this whole thing, so let me make it up to you. What do you say you ride one of my horses for its debut race? Oh, really? Yep, it's this horse right here. First partner. Let's do it. Yes, thank you so much. I have high hopes for first partner. Good horse, this one. <laughs> do you think I can go to the Royal Derby? Uh, what? Do you think I can win the Royal Derby? Well, you're ambitious, I'll give you that. <laughs> thanks. Why don't you just concentrate on your next race for now? You don't want to mess up a big debut. Racing's a different deal from training, so stay sharp out there. Different how? During the races, it's important to charge your horse's energy as much as possible, like a lot. Energy, lots, right, got it. Also, you can't push your horse for the entire length of the race. You have to pace it and help it run comfortably while charging all of that energy. Do that and your horse will be ready to win it all once they hit the home stretch. I see. You'll be riding one of our best foals of the year, so give it all you got. I will, sir. Okay. Let's get into it. We need a place in the top eight. Hit the PvP button to compete with players from all over the world. That's pretty cool. I actually don't know if that was present in the iPhone version of the game or not. If it was, I never engaged with that. Okay, it's finally time to race, and a race always kicks off with a round of Start Solitaire. The goal of Start Solitaire is to grab one of these start cards here. To do that, you just have to clear one column from the tableau. I leave them out nice and simple this time, just for you. Have at it, friend. Now all you need to do is grab this card and off you go. Alright. I'm going to be really curious to see how this part of the game works. Very curious. Alright, let's start... Um Stock just made an appearance. Yep, 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 yep. From now on, you'll have a limited number of cards in your stock. Can you find a way to clear all the cards from your tableau before your stock runs dry? Talk about your white knuckle excitement. That's just the kind of game this is. The more of your tableau you manage to clear, the more unity power you'll get. Unity power is something you'll need a lot of if you want to win, so do your best out there. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I don't think... Let's see, three... I probably should have done five or six there. King, two, can't do anything with that yet, uh, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, eight, six, okay, we got that going for us, Ugh. come on, give me something, give me something I can use. We're just like completely milling. Okay, two, three, two, three. That's something at least. Nine, ace. Just need like a five or a three. Nope. All right, well, we didn't get one. All right, so this is the part that I'm curious about here. Play a few rounds of solitaire as you progress through a single race. However, the difficulty changes depending on where your horse is positioned on the track. Difficult can be good though. For example, harder solitaire is good for charging energy. When I say energy, I mean this, by the way. 
The higher this number is, the faster your horse will run on the home stretch. For now, just try to remember that charging energy is really, really important. Anywho, point is, if you want to charge heaps of energy, you have to play tough solitaire. Yep, yeah, we're in the comfort zone right now. Okay, hover over the orange zone. Moving your horse can um, use his unity power. All right, we don't want to use more than we need to. Now, I'm, I'm curious if it's just going to be like point to point because a, a part of this is also sort of like navigating um, with some of the other horses. So I am curious how in depth that whole thing is going to get. Oh, there was a four there. I completely missed it. Too busy talking. Um, nine. Uh, ten. Four, three. Uh, four. Five. Um, man, I wish I had access to those kings over there. Two, three, four, five. Nothing yet. Three. Um, I don't think I can go to king from that. No, I didn't think so. Uh, ace, king, ace, king, ace. Two, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, um, six, five, uh, six, seven. Okay. Not too bad, considering we were in the in the tough zone. Alrighty, so this time I'm here to tell you about the bar here in the top left. It represents your horse's stamina, which is just as important as energy. Important how, of course, I hear you cry. Well, no matter how much energy you've charged, if your stamina is low, your horse will tire out. And a tired horse is slow in the home stretch. Stamina gradually decreases as a race goes on. Oh, and you'll burn through it extra fast if you're running on the outside during a turn. Generally speaking, you want to have about 40 stamina left when entering the home stretch. Okay. You can head into the inside to conserve stamina. This animation is so good. All right, home stretch time. This is, I'm, I'm so curious how this is gonna work. Yep, super important to avoid bumping into any horses in front of you. Tilt the left stick up or down, okay, easy enough. We got our whip button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our fall back button. Can be, can be useful. All right, so this is important. Last we have this, your current placement in the race. All right, let's see what we can do here. I should have this in the bag. We did it. Pretty straightforward stuff. Yeah, got some experience. We leveled up. 
As you see here, horses will grow after each race until they turn four years old. Now please allow me, your good friend off course, to explain how to raise horses efficiently. Picking up horseshoe cards during a race will earn you a heap of experience points. You'll also get a little bit of experience if you finish a race without using these cards here. If you get a whole bunch of skill cards, your horse will learn a new skill. Very good. You obtained one coin in winnings from the beginner's stakes. Hey, $2 hero. Great work out there. Yay. Were you always this good on a horse, $2 hero? I am reborn! <laughs> uh, right. Well, I'll be counting on you to win the next one, too. All will tremble before me. There are two tutorial races left. Would you like to skip them? No, I want to show off the tutorial. For this video, I want to show off how the game is played for y'all. For anybody, the purpose of this really is to showcase the Switch version of the game and to like show what the game is to people who maybe uh, are not familiar with it. I assume this is where we're gonna work in, like we're gonna learn about picking up cards and stuff. All right, my, my, what do we have here? That's right, it's our solitaire time limit. From now on, you'll be playing solitaire with a ticking clock over your head. In start solitaire, you get more unity power the quicker you get out the gate. Likewise, if you don't manage to start within the time limit, you'll be slow out of the gate and lose stamina to boot. Okay, between you and me, you should check out how the cards are positioned while I'm talking and think about how you want to clear them. Yep, yeah, right here. All right, first round, we're probably gonna fall back. All right, let's start. Anyway, let's talk about your horse's mood. Color of your giddy app button changes depending on your horse's mood, right? There are all sorts of perks to being in a good mood. For example, it's easier to charge energy and solitaire time limits are more lenient. It's green right now, which means you're in a reasonably good mood. But if you make this bad boy blue, you'll be in the best dang mood ever. You'll charge energy like nobody's business and your time limits will be pretty lax. Your mood can be improved by clearing multiple cards in succession or getting perfect scores. But if cards get left behind on the tableau, your mood will take a turn for the worse. If your mood looks rough, the best way to turn it around is to aim for a perfect score in a low difficulty round of solitaire. Well, that's all for now. Catch you later. Let's do it. King, ace, uh, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's all I can do right now. Okay. Nine, eight, six, five. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, two, three, uh, five, six, nine, eight. Three, four, there's three, uh, five, nope. Okay, there's, we're, we're cooking something up. We're doing something here. Uh, four, two, nope, nine, eight, seven. Okay. I might back up just to improve... Oh, okay, my mood's blue. We're good, we're good. Well, looky here, we got cards on the track. If your horse bumps into these bad boys, they'll be added to your solitaire tableau. If you can clear them during the game, all sorts of good things will happen. But don't draw a line leading all the way to the cards. It needs too much unity power. Instead, position yourself somewhere that'll put you in the card's path. Give it a try. Yep.
Grab some cards. They're going to be in my tableau now. Very good. Uh, okay. How should we start here? Five, six, uh, ten, nine, ten. Um, I don't think, yeah. Hmm. Nine, six, seven, eight, seven, six, seven, uh, eight, nine. It honestly feels much better with the, uh, with the sort of pro controller controls than, than I expected it to, I'll be honest. Um, yeah, I should go three, four, three, two, um, three, four, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay. Man, so close. Close to a perfect clear there. Still feeling good about that, though. Alright, let's go ahead and get on the inside here. Feel okay about that. Should still end up with a decent amount of stamina. Yeah. Home stretch, baby. Popping in to explain how boost cards work. If you use a boost card you got during a round of solitaire while on the home stretch, wowie zowie, your horse gets a speed boost. You can also shove surrounding horses aside and you'll get a bit of stamina back too. Boost cards are good vibes only, but you can only get two in a single race. So if you see one on the track, be sure to grab it. See if I need it. I don't think I will, to be honest. I think I'm just going to save it. I think we're pretty good. Yeah, we're, we're in no danger of losing this. Very good. You get, a, you get some bonus XP for not spending those cards. And I'll get a skill. Joker Strong. Horses can learn new skills if you collect a bunch of skill cards. Plenty of useful skills that can give you the edge in a tough race. Try to gather as many skill cards as you can. I promise it'll be worth it. Uh, adds a joker to your tableau upon activation. Jokers can connect to any other card. Yep, yep, yep. Very good. You obtain two coins and winnings from the Rookie Cup. Hey, $2 Hero. Great work out there. Yay! Seems like you're really getting the hang of this, $2 Hero. I'm trying, sir. Here's the shopkeep. Chirp. Happy horses at your service. Chirp. A seller who frequents the training center. Her shop, Happy Horses, specializes in jockey gear. She says her prices are high so she can put her little brother through school, but nobody buys that. Hey there, Chirp. How's business? Hi, sir. Not bad. This is the new jockey. That'd be me. It's nice to meet you. Happy Horses at your service. Um, yeah, it's a pleasure. My shop, Happy Horses, sells items that can help a lot during races. I have a wide range of goods at unbelievable prices, so stop by. You won't regret it. Really? That's cool. Mr. Maikawa, can you get something for me? On the company dime, of course. As if. If you want some tools to help you do your job, buy them yourself. Dang. Got a fine selection of stuff today, so be sure to stop by. Okay. 
Happy Horses apparently sells pretty useful items, so you should definitely pay them a visit. Sounds like a plan. Happy Horses at your service got guide goggles. They show which cards to take next. Helpful. Find anything you like, $2 Hero? Sure did. Then I guess we're ready for our next race. Good luck out there. Leave it to me. All right, one tutorial race left. We're gonna do that and then we'll wrap up the video. I'll say a few, few more things about the game after this final tutorial race. We'll go through it. I like that you can pause the tip there too. That is good. Oh man, I'm so happy this game is on Switch, you guys. So cool. Okay, what do we got here? This is set up pretty well. How about I let you know a little secret about the start cards? Each of the start cards has a number drawn on it, you see? These numbers represent what level of comfort zone your horse will aim for once it leaves uh, the gate. Yep. If you're, uh, if you're game for some tough solitaire off the hop, you want the card with a three on it, since that's the highest level there is. But don't take too long to think about it or you'll be late leaving the gate. Focus on the cards as they come down so you see which level each one is. I'm going to leave myself somewhere to some water and have uh, and get a drink. Have fun. Yeah, no, oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I did not want to select that one. I wanted to select the other one. This sucks. Um, well, this really sucks. Uh, I can't go anywhere with this. That totally screwed me. Yeah, that totally screwed me. That's fine. Started off in a level 3 comfort zone, so hopefully we can pick up some more momentum in this round. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's do a little bit of work here. Um, I guess I can go ahead and do that. Six, five, um, six. This is, this is a helpful card to have. Um, the, the guide goggles are, are helpful because they'll kind of steer you in the right direction. Um, two, three, four, five, four. Uh, let's do 10 Joker, or uh, Jack rather. Eight. Where can we go from here? I guess I could do this. Two, three, two, clear off some more of that. That's helpful. Uh, King, Queen, four, five, Eight, seven, eight, nine. Okay, ace, king, ace, king. There we go. Did pretty well there. Got a super unity, baby. All right, to be honest, here's something to keep in mind, okay? Running on the outside burns more stamina, but you also charge more energy. Or that's the general gist, I guess. Remember that much, and you'll mostly be fine. Running on the inside actually restores stamina, so if your horse is close to running out, sticking to the inside could be a smart play. That said, you may not always be able to position yourself right where you mean to. This here is one of the reasons for that. If triangles are being shown here, once you draw your line and tap the go button... Horse feathers. The comfort zone moves in that direction. If it looks like the comfort zone will move forward, you'll need to draw a line that moves forward a bit more to match. Keep that in mind. Okay? See the jockey whose hats are on fire? Uh, not a safety hazard. It just means they have more energy than you. If you bump into a horse with more energy than you, you'll get blown way off course, making it hard to reach what you're aiming for. Yep.
Get your tank nice and full, then when your mood is blue, let her rip. Stick to that plan whenever possible and you'll rack up victories. That's an off-course promise. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to move too much, so I'm actually just going to try to position ourselves like right up here. Get some cards. Let's do this. Um, 10, 9, 8, 4. Uh, let's do 3, 2, Ace, King. 5, 4, 3. Let's do... Hmm. Nah, it's not really going to help me either way, so we'll do 6, I guess. Um, eight. Okay. Uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Not too bad, but we're probably not going to be able to clear everything here. Nope. It's all right. It's kind of the, the risk you run when you're... When you're in the hard comfort zone. Let's, um... Let's actually back off a little bit. We might actually still hit these cards. Yep. Sick. Should still come into the home stretch with more than 40 stamina. Peak time, baby. It's peak time. Peak time is the happiest time of the day. During peak time, you'll be dealt a bunch of cards with flames on them. Clearing these will cause you to charge even more energy than usual. Downside is that you lose stamina quickly once it's over, and your next round of Solitaire will have a tight time limit. Ideally, you'd want peak time kicking in during your very last round, just like it did this time. Cool. Very good. All right, let's do this. Eight, seven, six, uh, seven, eight... 9, 10. Uh, let's do that. Uh, hmm. 2, Ace, King, Ace. That at least clears some stuff out for me there. 6, 5, 6. Um, let's do... I don't know if I want to waste the Joker just yet. Uh, nine, two, three, four, four. Okay, queen. All right, now might actually be a good time to use the joker. I have a fairly high chance of... Yep. Cool. Sick. Uh, we could just charge this up, honestly, since we're coming into the last... the last leg. Um... Let's just move down a little bit. Um, I guess we'll just yeah we'll 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 stay with that. Final turn. We should still have a good amount of stamina coming into the home stretch and plenty of power.
All right, let's move up a little bit. And I, I don't think I'm going to need to spend any any cards on this either. I think I'm going to run away with this. I just came into this with so much power. We did it. Very good. Look at all that. You love to see it. You obtained 10 coins in winning from the tutorial masters. Very good. Hey, two dollar hero, great work out there. Yay! <laughs> I've got to hand it to you. You're turning into quite the writer. Aw, oh, shucks. Oh, that's right. I just remembered I had something to tell you. Ooh, what, what, what? We're going to exchange jockeys for first partner here. Are you serious? First partner was supposed to be ridden by a more experienced jockey, but the poor guy got hurt. Can't ride with an injury, that's for sure. When I was looking for another jockey to fill in, I noticed you milling about, not getting up to much. Laziness pays, sir. First partner's a great horse. He would have won those three races no matter who was riding him. But he'll need a talented jockey to stand a chance in G1 races. I don't think his owner is willing to compromise on this one. So, how's that guy's injury doing, by the by? Oh, he's all better now, fit as a fiddle. I don't think I like where this is going. Sorry, kid, but we're going to exchange jockeys for first partner now. <laughs> Wah! But I've bonded with that horse. We have something really special. Now, now, no need for tears. I've prepared a different horse for you to ride. For reals? Yup, in fact, you can take your pick. Alright, let's see what we've got. Well, it doesn't look like I can take my pick. It looks like I have to take Blingin' Kid here. Uh, middle Unity. Okay. Not bad. Uh, we, we can keep it as it is. I like to keep the, the, the horse names as they are. Some of them are funny. All right. All right, and this is kind of like the main sort of menu area. Oh. It's got a little, little challenge for me. Is that what that is? Perfect challenge. Oh, yeah. Get a gift by earning a perfect per day. Um, no items. Here's this, that dude. Um, so, yeah, we can, we can go through these different races in here. We're not going to do that in this video. I just wanted to show you all kind of what the deal was. Yeah, PvP in this one is kind of crazy. Um, got the museum here. Here in the museum, we can check out all the trophies you've won and all the horses you've ridden. Swing by every now and then and take in the sights. Oh, and make sure to do your best to bring home a trophy for every G1 race there is. So this is all this is all good. Um, another major mechanic of this game that I'm not going to be able to show you all uh, in this particular video is like you can actually also breed your horses once you've leveled them up because um, your horse you can only use for four years before you have to like retire them and eventually once you have enough horses you can kind of like retire them and stable them and actually get them to breed horses that kind of are like the they, they have like children who are kind of like the combination of some of your skills so like by the end of this I guess that's like the third birthday of this horse so that's another major component to this that we're not going to get to show off. But um, this game has got like so much deceptive death. Uh, death. It's got so much deceptive depth to it. Um, I, I mean, you do die at the beginning of the game. So I guess death is also a, a factor. But um, I, I adore this game. It is such a time sink. The mechanics are so well done. Um, the Switch port seems to be totally good and solid, even playing with the Pro Controller. Uh, I kind of screwed up like once like just you know not being used to the way the the pro controller controls are because they are still ultimately pointer controls so um if you can play this touch screen that is probably still the optimal way to play but it works completely fine with a pro controller and uh this game is going to be a problem for me now that it's on switch i played the mess out of it on 3ds 
I played a ton of it on my phone, and now that I have it on the Switch, uh, yeah, this is this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a, a mainstay. This thing ain't leaving my Nintendo Switch. I'm very very happy to have this, and I hope you all are too. I hope you give it a look. Uh, it's available uh, for fifteen dollars on the Nintendo Switch, and uh, well worth it. I know that probably seems like a bit of a steep price. But um, you will get more than $15 worth of time out of this, trust me. Uh, so I appreciate you all for checking this out. This has been Pocket Card Jockey, available now on the Nintendo Switch, one of my favorites. And uh, please give it a chance. Please give it a look. And uh, for more Nintendo video content like this, of course, you're already in the right place, all in, right here on YouTube. So like and subscribe before you head out. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're a Pocket Card Jockey fan or if you're a new fan playing it on the Switch for the first time. I would love to talk to you about it. Until the next video, everybody. Bye-bye.